Bach here again, cooking books, bringing information. So I put up a video and I talked about our belly button, right? I talked about our navel. I want to kind of touch on that some more, just kind of build on it some more. And the importance of our belly button and understanding, like, it's, it's, it's a vital uh, portal to our spirit, to our soul. And let me explain. Uh, I did that in the previous video, but I'm going to kind of touch on it again. When, when, a, when a baby is going through the trimester, right, it's a three-part three part support system. The umbilical cord, the placenta, and the amniotic sac. The amniotic sac is the fluid that the baby floats around in, right? That's when the woman water breaks. When the when the uh, when the water breaks, that's the amni the amniotic sac, right? And that allows for the fluidity and allows the child to move around. And then there's the placenta. The placenta is what allows the blood to be transferred between the the mother and the child, and the child and the mother. The, the nutrients from the mother to the child, and the waste products from the the waste products from the child to the mother, and it works in conjunction with the umbilical cord, okay? Uh, but why is this important is because both the placenta and the umbilical cord, like I said, they allow the child to have access with the exterior world. That is the first point of entry to the exterior world prior to conception, right? So during the, 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 the three, three stages, the three trimesters, the child does not and will not have any contact with the outer world except by means of the placenta and the umbilical cord, the umbilical cord, and 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 and, and by means of the navel. So, so what that means is that aside from the biological, right, the the, the material and the physical food and nutrients that's being transferred to the child, there's also a spiritual uh, significance here. There's also spiritual connotations and meanings here. The, the energy from the mother and the mother's experiences are also being transferred to the child. And whatever the mother, the trauma, shock, fear, any kind of curse, anything that the mother is experiencing, it's also being experienced by that child. So it does not necessarily, it, it could be a psychological illness that the mother might be grappling with that's being transferred to that child. It could be a uh, emotional emotional brokenness that the mother's grappling with, it's transferred to that child. Uh, so many other illnesses uh, that mental illnesses uh, can be transferred to that child. So the umbilical cord is, is uh, a medium. In this context, it is a medium uh, by which energy, good or bad, indifferent, is being transferred to the child. So after the umbilical cord is cut, right, and now the child enters into the world, here's here's what's important. Because the um, uh, your belly button uh, or your navel is already conditioned, pre-programmed, used to receive an information uh, by means of transference from the, from the mother, when the child comes into the world now, you and I as adults, all of us, we are still receiving information to our navel. We're still receiving data through our belly button. This is why if you, if you read about the seven chakras, if you study about the chakras, there's seven chakras, those seven, our seven chakras correspond with the electromagnetic spectrum. If you study about the electromagnetic spectrum, you'll find that there's a correlation uh, with our seven chakras. Not only does it correlate in sense of frequency, also in terms of what's called color, so-called color. Because in actuality, there is no such thing as color. Color is just the uh, color is the exhibition or the result of light interacting with uh, matter or objects in the air, air particles, matter. When light in white light interacts with matter, depending on the nature of the matter, it gives you what we call color. But color has no intrinsic value. There is no essence, no nature to color. And I'm kind of going off course. Let me get back on on my, my, my get back on the on the wagon here. So the point I'm making is that so you and I as adults, all of us without exception, we are receiving information by means of our belly button, and because it's in our lower area, right? Like. Our consciousness is, we're not conscious of the information that's coming into our belly button. Uh, it, put it like this, imagine a cord, imagine your cell phone, 
and you plug your cell phone into the wall and there's a cord. It, that cord between your cell phone and the wall, it represents, it's analogous of the umbilical cord, right? And the wall is a source of energy that's being fed to your phone. Well, all of us, without exception, have a invisible cord that is plugged into our belly buttons. And we're constantly being fed the energy from those cords. Constantly, without exception, we're, we're, it's a constancy. Uh, the source, the question now is, the, what we know the wall, the socket on the wall is where the phone is plugged into. What are you plugged into? What am I plugged into? What is she, he, we, us, them, they, her? What are we all plugged into? What is our source, right? Uh, generally speaking, just generalizing, we're all plugged into the mainframe. Right, the mainframe is the is the gridiron, the gridlock, you know, the grid, so to speak, right? Which is just uh, all of the technology that we interact with, utilize, or it interacts with us and utilizes us, programs, conditions, direct, you know, and determine how we act, behave, etc., etc., etc. So, yeah, it's important to understand that we're being fed. I means of the belly button. And again, it, it's in conjunction, it's consistent with how we were before we entered into this physical plane. We were first in the planes of our mother's womb, which was a symbolic or a sim, a symbolic earth, so to speak. Right? Her stomach is round, right? And you have the uh, amniotic sac, which is a fluid that allows you to move around. Well, out here in the real world, we have what's called the ether, right? The ether is a substance that allows us to communicate. That's our phone calls. That's how we're able to have Wi-Fi and so on and so forth, right? The ether, right? An invisible substance that allows the propagation of waves, right? Without the ether, we couldn't, we, there would be no radio waves. There wouldn't be, you know, there would be satellites and this and that and that. And that. So it, we can see, again, as within, so without, right? As above, so below. So we can see the correlation. Everything is inter there's an interconnected, interwoven, interlooping of everything. Interconnection, interloping, interwoven of everything. Say it again. Interconnection, interlooping, interwoven of everything. So w w once we understand that, I will uh, see the thing is a lot information does come into the brain, into the the, the the consciousness, our awareness, right? Information comes in, conscious mind, conscious mind, and that is in our head chakra area and information does come in right but the difference is we have uh what's called neurons billions of neurons which are just tiny processors that's all they are they're processors they process information by means of electrical impulses that generate thoughts patterns it's called synaptic networks right so so we can we i can i could a thought could come in someone could tell me something and I can determine whether, if I'm conscious, if I'm woke, if it's not a subliminal, all right, if it's not below my awareness, I can determine whether I want to, you know, entertain that thought or not. In your lower body, you know, into your navel area, there is no processor, so to speak. There is no neurons. I mean, there's nerve. We have cells all throughout the central nervous system. So there's some dendrites. We do but not in the sense of like uh, the neurons in our brain that's responsible for the processing. So when we're being fed this information, what we have to understand is that we act, right? Our bodies react, our behavior reacts based off certain patterns that's being coded into our, our, our system, you know, our system. This is why sometimes we do things and we don't understand why we did it. Many times we're like, why do we do that? You know, or we want to do something, but we don't do it. You know, there's a path. This is a perfect, perfect segue into this, this Bible passage. Paul says this, the things that I want to do, I cannot do. The things that I want to do, I cannot do. I, and let me, let me be clear. The things that I want to do, I cannot do. This is what Paul is saying. And the things that I don't want to do, those things I do. So what he's saying that he finds within his body, there's two energies, two, you know, two forces of a, a, a polarization. There's a polarity and they both go against. So he's being torn, so to speak. So 
So he says the things he wants to do, he can't do. And the things he don't want to do, that he does. So, and, 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 and a, a good way to illustrate that is just imagine two wolves inside of you. Both wolves are fighting against each other. And who wins that fight depends on who you are feeding. Is a good wolf a bad wolf? A bad wolf a good wolf? Uh, and who's going to win that fight? Is it, it's contingent or it depends upon which one of the wolves you're feeding. So when we're when we're being fed into our lower, you know, uh, solar plex, which is the you know the navel area, and if we're not guarding that then that's going to uh, spread throughout the rest of our central nervous system and dictates our behavior, dictates our thoughts, dictates what we think, how we think, uh, you know, and that's going to now translate into our lives, whether we are productive, unproductive, successful, unsuccessful, uh, crime, whether we gravitate to crime, uh, whether we gravitate to uh, something constructive, something destructive. It, it, it all depends upon the feed, your feed, okay? What's being streamed, live streamed into your belly button. So a lot of times when, when I walk into a room, if I feel the bad vibes, I'll put my hand across my stomach. I said that in my last video. You get on the train sometimes. Oh, not sometimes, all the time. There's all kinds of uh, forces in the subway. Put your hand on your belly. You walk into, you know, I'm on Wall Street. You walk into the office, put your hand, you know, some, sometimes you got you to gotta understand the symbolism and the sub, what you are actually doing in the spirit realm. So you understand what I'm saying? So you have to guard your soul. You have to guard your spirit. You have to guard your mind. You have to guard your aura. You have to keep out as much entities and energies as possible because they're all looking for a, a home, so to speak, uh, an abode, a, a dwelling place where they can reside. And the, 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 the danger is once these forces take root, they don't just sit idly because there's the law, what's called the law of vibration. Everything vibrates, everything resonates. And in vibrating these energies, they become what's called thought forms. I did a video on that before. And as they become thought forms, the, the, the word added to thought is form. That means it takes on a certain shape, mold, or fashion. And that thought form, once it becomes energized, entitized, and entitized and energized and intensifies, then it, 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 it directs your behavior. It directs your actions. Why do you drink? Why do you think a person who is on drugs is on drugs? Why do you think a person who is an alcoholic is an alcohol alcoholic? Why do you think a person who can't keep a job can't keep a job? Why do you think, I mean, all these habits, these destructive habits are not, they, they, they have scientific background. There's empirical scientific data that can actually back or, uh, and bolster these 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 things. So, till next time, y'all know what I'm gonna be doing: cooking books and bringing you the info. Peace.